I'm a big, bright, shining star. Boogie Nights, tonight on The Final Call. What's up, y'all? I'm Mason, and this is... J-Dub. And we are The Final Call Movie Review Show. Tonight, we are reviewing Boogie Nights, a 1997 film starring Marky Mark, I mean Mark Wahlberg, and Paul Thomas Anderson directed this film. This movie also has Julianne Moore in it. It's got Burt Reynolds. It's a really star-studded cast in a lot of ways. It's kind of an ensemble thing. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson wrote this movie and directed it, and it's phenomenal. The guy deserves a lot of credit. It's a great, great, great movie. Um, Marky Mark plays Dirk Diggler. He's a porn star, essentially. It starts out, he's just washing dishes, and he falls into the porno business. And it's like right around going into the late 70s, early 80s. So there's like a lot of cocaine, a lot of madness, alcohol abuse, and, you know... Sex. Sex, drugs, <laughs> rock and roll, essentially. And it's sort of like uh, the rise and fall of, uh, you know, a great, bright, shining star of an American porn Dude, I guess. I don't know. It's probably based on some real-life porn guy that I just don't know. Uh, but it's a damn good movie. It's well-directed. It's long, but it's well worth it. It's a slow-moving film that never seems slow because there's so much going on. It's so bright and vibrant and action-packed. and There's so much good visually. You, it's... You're just drinking in visually because there's so much to see. It's 70s and 80s decor at its peak. Like, it's not just like, oh, there's a dresser and a bed. No, 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 no. It's like a full-on closet and televisions. And every little detail is just so. It's a really good movie. And I can't stress that enough. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I definitely recommend this film heavily. It's such the it has such draw to it that on the on the scenes of the movie where you're at like the glitz and the glamour and the highs of highs like you feel that and then when it hits like the seedy like underbelly like oh low of the garbage bottom of the barrel lows like you're there there's one scene in there that sticks out in my mind in particular where Mark Wahlberg, before he becomes this huge bright shining star, still living at home with his parents, he gets into an argument with his mother, she's berating him, tearing down the shit from his walls, he's acting as any teenager going into... Upset by the situation. Very upset by the situation as any teenager of his age would, and then they sh very, very quickly show the father sitting in the bedroom he's just the, hearing yeah yeah he's like in the kitchen or the bedroom and he's just not doing anything and he's terrified it's, to do anything exactly he's and, very upset by the whole thing but he's not doing anything yes and that's where the dark sadness sort of thing is really well highlighted in this film because it brings that element of real life to light in a film in a way that doesn't often happen in 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 a even bigger way, a lot of people always ask, like, whether you watch porn movies or not, a lot of people always ask the question, well, how did they get to become a porn star in the first place? And this actually It was shows. a lot more interesting how they got there in the 70s than it is nowadays. Yes. It was a lot more dangerous. <laughs> way I more I dangerous. I don't know which one's more dangerous. I suppose <laughs> nowadays strikes me a little more dangerous. But, uh... <laughs> it's it's an interesting film. It it it's a time piece because it goes through a certain time in history that they it sh it game. shows you the culture, the fashion, the music, the, the 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 uncertainty, like with the Buck character where he's in a different outfit all the time, like <laughs> you know identity crisis. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 a heavy flick. It's really good intellectual film and. Like I said, highly recommend it. So, on a scale from 1 to 100. Scale of 1 to 100? I can comfortably put Boogie Nights 96. 
I'm going to get into the 90s, but that's a little tall for my liking. I'm going to go with a 92, although it is definitely one of my favorite films of all time. So the final call for me is definitely see it. Absolutely. Any format, way possible, any way that you can see this movie. It's a timeless, time period classic. It's always worth a watch if you're up for watching it. So, up on that note, thank you once again for tuning in to the Final Call Movie Review Show. Don't forget to check out our links at the very bottom. We have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, more to come later. But don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe us here or on Facebook, however you're watching us right now. And let us know how we're doing. See us on the back of the truck. It's okay to wave. Let us know if there's any movies that you would like for us to critique or if you see any of the movies that we've done already. Let us know. Is our critique on point with what you thought? Vice versa? Any feedback? Welcome.